Hi, this is Matt with 3G Store. Today we're going to be looking at a couple different cable options that you'll see with a variety of our different antennas here. Uh, in the back here I have our RG58 cable, which is typically bundled with antennas such as our RV antenna, uh, the popular trucker antenna, etc. Uh, these are typically non-detachable, which means you can't remove them from the antenna, and they're typically recommended in lengths about 12 to 13 and a half feet. That's what you'll see them with uh, on our site there. Now, if you're going to need a longer cable run, uh, or looking for a more dedicated fixed installation, uh, such as our panel antenna, our Yagi antennas, or even our marine style antennas for the uh, marine enthusiasts there. Uh, most of those end in N female connectors. So this is the LMR400, which is our ultra low loss cable. This is the highest grade cable that we have available. Uh, I typically don't advise running lengths more than 50 feet of the LMR400 without an inline amplifier there. But as you can see, it's very thick in contrast to the RG58 cable. So that helps preserve a lot more of the signal. So if you're running a longer cable run, uh, it's going to be a lot more ideal for your scenario. Now, this is the end that you're supposed to have on the adapters that plug into the wireless modems. That's an FME female end. And one thing you'll want to notice is with the LMR400, it has what's called an end male end. It's a much thicker end. And if you're going to use that with a standard pigtail to plug directly in, obviously this little adapter literally goes right in it. It does not, you need this adapter here, which is an N female to FME female adapter. And that actually just screws right on there. And what that does is it gender adapts it back down to the same size so you still have that same end. Then you take your pigtail which is what plugs into your wireless modem. So you go ahead and screw that on. And after you get that screwed on, it takes a little bit. Now you can see I've got it adapted down to the small end here. And that's the standard TS9 connector, which if I take a wireless modem here. Now don't get confused, the wireless modems are what hold the uh, antenna pigtails. So all you do is simply plug that in. And you've now successfully connected your antenna to your wireless modem.